watching my channel for enough years, it doesn't take long, you may have noticed I'm a bit of a strange fellow. And a bit of that strangeness involves geekiness, obviously. And a part of that geekiness involves a strange affection for calculators. I haven't got lots, but I may have a few. And especially for desktop calculators. Now, I usually get my stuff from crawling the charity shops. And uh, when this appeared, complete in box, it may have got me slightly excited. So, yes, this is the only one, I've, uh, uh, only desktop calculator I've ever come across fully boxed. And it is like brand new and it's complete with all the documentation. So let's have a look at the box, have a look at the documentation and have a look at the calculator. Now, as we start to look at this thing, the first thing I will say, I've looked everywhere for a year on this and I cannot find any reference to what year this was made. I've even looked online and there is nothing. I'm just going to go and say early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, just by the look of it and by some of the stuff that is inside in the catalogue. So let's have a look, first of all, at this wonderful box, which not many people have seen because these just do not survive uh, being in industrial uses usually. So on the front we've got heavy duty printing calculator, 10 digits. Three subtotaling systems, subtotal, total and ground total, and then counting sort of thing. Uh, an average function, I know what an average is, but I ain't gonna be able to use it on this. Uh, item counting, whatever floats your boat. Three digit comma markers. Three digit comma markers? I haven't got a clue what that is. Maybe I have. 999 comma 999 comma Okay, I'm stupid. Full decimal system, as opposed to not full decimal system, which is the system I prefer, but we'll go with the full. Uses plain paper, and you'll see in a moment that that plain paper can cause quite a ruckus. And it's AC powered, which is a benefit in an industrial setting. On the sides, yeah, basically the same stuff, back the same stuff. On the bottom, bugger all. So that's that. Let's have a look at what we get inside the box. Okay, as you can see, inside the box, we get three items, four items, five, sort of. Uh, we've got the manual, we've got a catalogue for desk and printing calculators, and of course, the calculator itself. And as you can see, this is absolutely spotless, but I've just noticed it's got a sales and service by, look at this, Higgs of Newcastle. 135 Sandiford Road, Newcastle, up on time. So, what I'm going to do now, see if they still exist. Might give us some sort of date. So, I've just looked them up and no, there's no record of them at all. Unless it's a law firm or a chocolate supplier that was selling calculators. I, last time I checked, that doesn't happen. So, what we'll do, we'll have a look at the manual and the catalogue and see what's inside them. So, first of all, our manual, and it's nothing exciting, unless you're a bookkeeper or accountant, or a geek. I mean, if I'd have had this as a child, I would have read every word of this manual. Possibly even the Bart Stones in English. But, there we go. Goes through its functions, which is what it is. Uh, yep. Accountants might understand it. I don't. Well, you know, the extra accountancy bits. Uh, but, yeah, multiple languages. Plain English, it's a manual, and it gives you, uh, interestingly, it gives you loads of uh, examples of how to do different calculations, which is, obviously, useful. So now, put that to the side, we can have a look at what is probably more interesting to most people, the catalogue. Right, and as we can see here, we have a fine collection of printing calculators from the day. And uh, I hope the one, this one's in it. Can't see it. 
But it looks like somebody's been doing uh, some uh, calculations here as they're trying to decide which one to purchase. And there we go, we get a good scan of each one. So the test your favorite one is there. You can see it in this catalog. And interestingly, uh, the one we have here does not appear in this catalog. So look at the other side. All right, on the other side, you have the semis or semi-desk, as it's called there. And you can see each of them. I'm not gonna go through each one of these. No. They're all basically the same, mostly. Different designs. There we go. So that's our catalog. Uh, on the uh, side here, you have uh, a spec sheet. I'll have a better look at that. Right, and there's our spec sheet. Sorry about the light reflecting on to take uh, this at a low angle because no matter what I do, it's very shiny, so light will reflect. There we go. That's the uh, spec sheet. If anyone wants a copy of that, let me know and I'll try and scan it in. Right, and now for the calculator itself. And the first thing I'm going to do is try and load the paper. This is where it all went wrong the last time. And this is where I have to be admit to have been a bit of an idiot because I appear to have lost somehow. Or oh, it didn't come with it. I cannot honestly remember one of these things that goes in the back and holds the paper in place. Uh, I can't remember. So anyway, we're going to... Oh no, it's there we go. Now let's try and feed this in. So, we can you know, switch it on. Voila. And pull this back. And this is where it all went to hell last time because we just could not get it to feed. And I actually started taking it apart because if you look at the back, there's a thing and you have to push it down. And it's, yeah, because a lot of these systems you feed, you Pull the paper in half to feed it in. No, it is bugger. But you can have a laugh at me while I try and do this. No joy. Okay, a while later, and after much cussing, uh, we managed to do it. What we have to do, as you see here, when it's coming up in the wrong bloody way, after I'm curating this mechanism. Didn't do this last time, it's actually cutting the paper. There we go. Ah, there we go. So, I had to cut that to get it in. I'm sure it will go in with practice, but it's a pain in the ass. But uh, from the diagram, it looks like you push it down, don't you? Push it that way. But it's still a pain unless you well, cut that V. So, there's a technique you might want to use if you've got one of these and you're having trouble with it. Uh, let's put that back on. Oh, here's the roller, which is sort of an ink. So, yeah, it's a sort of a sponge uh, soaked in ink. You can get these still, not expensive either. So these are still serviceable in the modern world. Uh, it's a while since I've used this. I can't remember how it works. I'm going to have to look that up and then show you. Hang on. Okay. No, I'll look that up in a moment. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Right, okay. So, we do that. Pull that. Uh, well, the stand, it's not really a big bath The paper can just sit here. So, get rid of that. Yes, I did look at the manual to try and work out how to uh, feed the paper if I was doing something wrong. But there we go, it is further, so let's have a look at it. Right, so here we are with the calculator. Mine has stopped it. And uh, quite simple to use, what I can use of because I am no bookkeeper or accountant, so I can't use its advanced functions, but I can use its simple functions. 
because I'm a simple person. You've got this, the powers, power on or off here, and uh, the item count here, which I don't know much about. You've got F, cut, up, and five and a quarter. Not sure what that is. Great guide this, isn't it? Uh, you've got addition things there, which I've just left to normal. Uh, I have no idea with this. Here, this IT button, which says average beneath it. No idea again, but I can press the feed button. And that works. Yay. Uh, M up and M down. Not sure what that does. But you got your basic thing, so you can do like two plus two. Uh. <laughs> uh. Right, two plus two, four. There we go. Gives you a total. We have to press the add button. Uh, plus six, plus three. Grand total. No, that's where counters it off. I have no idea. Oh, there's an equal button here. Right, two plus two equals. <laughs> six minus ah that's a minus six minus plus two uh can we just press it up no all right six minus plus two plus four is it plus two is, i thought that was, uh, i thought that was minus two well there we go uh so yeah we've got loads of the things and if we press it to the uh print button do really well on the uh, guide here and how to, well, how to use this. I'm learning as I go. So, two. Uh, divide by two. And let's press feed. Two divided by two is one. Yes. Wow, look at that. So, two plus two equals plus, isn't that nine? Oh, right. Uh, six times six is 36. Yay. So I've no idea what these are for or any of these things. These must be for other modes. So if you're an accountant, anything like that, let us know because I am admittedly clueless on this sort of stuff and I'm not going to spend all day looking up how to do stuff I am never going to use. So new new but there you go this so as you can see that's a bit of ink ink gets everywhere when you're playing with it this is an absolutely mint thing uh love the design it's a bit uh it's a bit spacey from that angle isn't it it's like some sort of sci-fi movie but yeah i have a strange affiliation for these things and long may it continue i do have Another one here. I've only ever found two. Just putting that one back together. But there's a an Ibico one two one two. Another one I can't find any information on. So there we go. I found that one for two quid. And it fell the other night, so it may be a bit broken. I do not know. But there we go. That's Casio FR thirty one hundred. If you've got any memories of these, if you still use these, and an expert on them, then let us know. Right, so that is the Casio FR3100. Hope you've enjoyed that uh, unboxing and quick look. If you've uh, got memories of one of these, uh, then please let us know in the comments. Or if you, in fact, still prefer to use one of these compared to a, a computer, then let us know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you do like these sorts of videos and you want to see more retro tech reviews, or even one of this typewriter, if you want me to do a review of the 70-year-old, 70-odd-year-old typewriter, then please let me know in the comments. Other than that, uh, please like and subscribe if you like these sort of videos. And uh, just means for me to say thank you very much for watching.